please subscribe mad.com and don't forget to hit the bell icon for new video notification hello everyone today we are going to uh, learn another application or use of the slope uh, 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 of, a, of a slope uh, by finding out uh, that whether the given vertices form a right angle triangle or not so we have an example uh, with given vertices and we will use a slope concept to find that whether these vertices form a right angle triangle or not. So let us see what concept of slope can be utilized here uh, or what property of slope you can use uh, here to uh, show that the given vertices form a right angle triangle. So, so here is the concept of the slope that slope of one line is equal to the slope of another line if this is the condition that if the slope of one line is equal to the slope of another line then the two lines will be parallel to each other this is the one concept and the another concept is if the slope of one line is equal to the negative reciprocal of another line that is m1 is equal to minus 1 over m2 then the two lines will be perpendicular to each other so we are going to use this property of, of the slope or the concept of slope here uh, on these given vertices and we will see whether these form a right angle triangle or not so let's start in right angle triangle there are two lines that are perpendicular to each other keep this in your mind so let's write here so in right angle triangle two lines are perpendicular to each other making an angle of 90 degree how let's see if i draw here the right angle triangle it will be like this so we can say that this line and this line they are perpendicular to each other so this concept is like this and making an angle of 90 degree with each other so we will utilize the uh, that the, this property of right angle tri triangle and we will prove it by using um, the slope that whether these two lines are perpendicular to each other or not as we are given with the three vertices you can say here we have a let's suppose b and c so let's use these points and uh, we will uh, see uh, that whether it uh, proves this concept or not so we will start with finding the slope as m1 and m2 m1 will be the slope of two points and like if i write here m1 is equals to we will take these two points first so m1 is equals to slope of ab is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 equals to let's see what are the coordinates ab in ab we have y2 that is 5 minus y1 is 1 divided by x2 is 4 and x1 is 1 so we, we will get 4 divided by 3 this is the slope of of the line ab then we will go for the slope of next two points or the next line m2 is equals to the slope of bc as we are going to use the points b and c now again y2 minus y1 so y2 will be minus 1 minus and y1 will be 5 x2 is 12 12 minus x1 is 4 so what we are getting is minus 6 divided by 12 minus 4 is 8 and if we further simplify it we will get 3 by 4 with the negative sign so let's see whether these uh, two slopes uh, satisfy the condition that we have discussed uh, uh, in this uh, box that um, uh, that if two li uh, that the two lines will be perpendicular if m1 is equals to minus 1 over m2 so let's write it here and check what we will get m1 is equals to minus 1 by m2 it should be the form so here we have m1 that is 4 by 3 equals to minus 1 divided by m2 is minus 3 by 4 so what we will get is 4 by 3 equals to 4 by 3 so it is clear here that the two lines are perpendicular as both the sides are equal so it means that the two lines ab and bc are perpendicular to each other and their slopes are negative recipro reciprocal of each other it is clear here that this slope 4 by 3 and this slope minus 3 by 4 are negative reciprocal of each other so it is proved here that these vertices form a right angle triangle so that's all from today's lecture thank you